I know what y'all think. You know, he got one chicken left. The raccoons, the weather, the hawks. Here, you know, that one chicken, that hen ain't gonna make it either. But I learned a lot since then. So, I know you hear it. You hear it. I'm doing a spring run this time. So the last run was a winter run. I bought 15 of them. I've only got one left. I bought them in November. Now this run, I got all top hats and some reds, some Rhode Island reds. Uh, six Rhode Island reds and nine top hats in there. One of them top hats is a rooster. So now I'm fermenting grain. So I'm gonna feed them this fermented grain. And I wanna see how far along we get here. How far along we get. I've never done a fermented grain for chicks. So I don't know how this is gonna work out. But these chicks are getting fermented grain for food. Uh, so far, you know, they've been able to eat it. On the next round of fermented grain, I'm gonna grind up probably first before I feed it to them. But yeah, I got this fermented grain technique. I just take a piece of bread and uh, I put it in some water and I put it in here with my grains. I'm gonna use this to strain out most of that beer, I guess is what it is. I keep their water in there and this keeps them pretty much hydrated and fed so this is how I'm going to be doing these chickens uh, I got these chickens yesterday and they seem to be doing real well I haven't lost any other 15 so far uh, we'll see next week we'll give you a new update next week around Thursday well next week Tuesday I got Wednesday so today is Wednesday I got these chickens Tuesday so next week Tuesday they'll be a week old and we'll get an update see how many of them have survived off of fermented grains so I buy these uh, this bird seed basically is what that is it's a bunch of birds. See, this is for feeding birds. Um, costs eight dollars for a eight-pound bag, so it's pretty cheap. I have them coming in off of Amazon, and that's what I ferment. I put them in a ferment. Now the next batch that comes in, I'm gonna grind. I'll grind them up before I ferment them. That way, you know, they'll be smaller for the chickens, and then uh, I'll feed them the ground ones. This is for my hen. And once they get big enough, it's probably about the f four weeks in, they'll be ready for this. But that's where I'm at. Got 15 new chickens, all Polish, and six Rhode Island Reds. So we're going to see how well they do what I end up with. Can, I, can they make it to winter? Will they see winter? Will my hen see another winter i don't know she's free range so you know she's got a work cut out for her. all right y'all i'm out